The chairman's handicap is next. This is a group two handicap over two miles. And at the top, we've got Zigama for Darren Thompson, Memphis for David Hooley, Bakersfield Accelerate, Vinnie Gerard, Highbury, Ladybird, Graham Clutterbuck, Give Me Some Candy, Craig Allen, Ladies of Phonic, Graham Clutterbuck, Diamond Jubilee, Craig Beckwith, Infinite Prospect, David Robertson, Tick of the Clock, Joshua Sutherland, Tampa Bay General, Vinnie Gerard, Squadron Sandridge, Martin Leadham, Crosswise, Darren Thompson, Superstar, and Alexander Palace for Paul Rhodes, Desert Hobo, Craig Beckwith, Aphrodite, Joshua Sutherland, and Ledger Way, David Hooley. So 17 in a big field for a long distance race. And it's time to get yourself into a decent position, so there shouldn't be too many problems. And all installed and ready to go, and away they go. A little bit slow out closest to us was Infinite Prospect, but right over on the far side, it looks like it's going to be Zagama who's going to come through to take it up. Squadron Sandridge also wide on a trap, pulling for its head, but now down on this near side, Tampa Bay General has gone on into the lead. So the pace looks pretty pretty good for a long distance race, and Tampa Bay General has opened up by four or five lengths already to Zagama down on this near side, and then Aphrodite and Squadron Sandridge just a little bit wide on the truck, not been able to get right into the rail yet, also out there wide at this point appears to be give me some candy um, looking towards the back of the field the slow start in infinite prospect is just about the back marker tucked in on the rail but Tampa Bay General is bowling along in the lead by about five lengths to Zagama in second and Stablemate crossways on his outside just showing third with Aphrodite on a share of that position in the black and the red hoops then wide on the track Squadron Sandridge wider still superstar and then Bakersfield accelerate down on the rail with Lady Zephonic also in that leading group then give me some candy tucked in behind them the red jacket of Alexandra Palace is also down towards this near side with the purple jacketed Memphis and Ledger Way both running reasonably in the midfield as well looking towards the back now Diamond Jubilee might just about be the back marker but they're already past the 10 pole and Tampa Bay General is five lengths clear of the Darren Thompson pair Zagama and Crossway second and third then comes Aphrodite and Squadron Sandridge and Superstar looks to be going well on the outside which is now closest to us and after that one comes Bakersfield Accelerate give me some candies there Alexandra Palace quietly in mid division on the outside of the pack Desert Hobo is making a forward move the grey on that one's inside Highbury Ladybird is also getting a little bit closer but Tampa Bay General is still the leader well inside the final mile then from Superstar closest to us and Squadron Sandridge and then Aphrodite and Zagama give me some candy moving through as well Crossways just lost his place a little bit Alexandra Palace and Tick of the Clock are trying to get through as well so too is Bakersfield Accelerate Memphis is also in mid division looking to the back ledger way and Diamond Jubilee have got work to do but it's Tampa Bay General who's still the leader as they pass the six Squadron Sandridge up the centre of the track coming through for a share of the lead superstar Aphrodite then Bakersfield accelerate Alexandra Palace is getting closer as well as they come past the five then it's still Tampa Bay General who's got the lead and has got the rail Squadron Sandridge up the centre of the track being chased now by Give Me Some Candy and Alexandra Palace and Superstar looks like the action might be more up the centre than on the rail now Tampa Bay General are trying to fight back Squadron Sandridge in the lead past the four Squadron Sandridge now being challenged by Tick of the Clock on the outside here comes Highbury Ladybird with a good look in run but up the centre of the track it is and it's Tick of the Clock who's taking it up Tick of the Clock immediately pressed by Highbury Ladybird Squadron Sandridge tries to challenge again Desert Oboe's coming through as well also trying to run on his Memphis they've still got two and a half furlongs to go and Tick of the Clock is in the lead Tick of the Clock from Highbury Ladybird Squadron Sandridge sticking on then comes Desert Oboe and Memphis is probably between these as they race past the furlong and a half point and it's Highbury Ladybird and Tick of the Clock Highbury Ladybird, the Greys, about half a length up from Tick of the Clock in second. Desert Hobo is trying to make ground in third, but inside the final half furlong is Highbury Ladybird, who looks like she's going to get this one. Highbury Ladybird starts the ball clear, and Highbury Ladybird takes it from the fast finishing. Desert Hobo second, Tick of the Clock in for the prospect closest at the finish was next, and all the way back to Crossways. And the long time leader, Tampa Bay General, dropped out as well. But the action was up the centre of the track, and Highbury Ladybird takes it for Graham Clutterbuck that will give him a little bit of something to be pleased about after the diabolical performance of his football team yesterday so Highbury Ladybird takes it for Graham Clutterbuck Desert Hobo for Craig Beckwith was second Tick of the Clock Joshua Sutherland third Infinite Prospect for David Robertson was fourth and Diamond Jubilee for Craig Beckwith was fifth <laughs>